Hello again from the little studio and Pam Grant. I love looking back at my sketchbooks. They've got a lot of sort of happy memories in them. And, you know, they're always nice to just have a look at again. But the sketches tend to stay in the sketchbooks unless you do something different with them. If I want to transfer an idea to a larger sheet of watercolour paper, I will need to stretch the paper so that it doesn't buckle. And I'm going to show you in this demonstration how to do this and the simple equipment that you'll need to do it. I really recommend investing in a smooth beach drawing board. This one is an A2 board um, which has had quite a lot of good use and I have made the mistake on one side of using it as a cutting mat so it is a bit scored and I tend to avoid using that side for that reason. It has to be a beach board because beach is very fine grained it's uh, resistant to water, but it doesn't produce any oils that are going to stick to the back of the paper. Um, and it's a good investment. That one there has been used many times. I clean it up every so often, take the tape off it. Next, you'll need a sheet of paper, good watercolour paper, because this is going to be final drawing taken from one of the sketchbooks. And then you might need some scissors and brown tape, but it's it has a, a gummed surface on this side and then a plain surface. And what happens when you wet this, it actually stretches slightly um, and you'll see why that's important shortly. The next stage is you need some water although doing this in your bath is acceptable. What I've bought is a, a tray that will actually take water. You only need a small amount and this is to wet the paper. You don't really want to have it very wet because otherwise the paper will shred. So the paper just needs to be damp enough to have done all the stretching it's going to do before you actually do your artwork on it. So I'm just going to leave it in for a few moments so that it's thoroughly wetted. And then I'll pour the water away. There we are, that's wet enough without tearing or anything like that. You start to see a little bit of grey speckles in the paper, um, which indicates that it's actually quite damp. So I'm going to get my beach board and just lay that into the middle. Let it sort of flatten, flatten itself on the board. So, um, there are a few bubbles there, but don't worry about that because as this whole thing dries, it will flatten itself out. So the paper shrinks again. Now what you need now is you need some strips of the right length of the brown tape. In fact, if you're well organized, you can do that beforehand. If you take a sponge, you can, on the glued side, which is the shiny side, just dampen it without wetting it too much. And you'll find that the tape will sort of stretch a little bit. You stretch it and put it down sort of half over the edge of the paper. And then just press it down on the back there. The main thing is to make sure there's a good seal 
edge of the tape. So I'm going to do a long one now, so to dampen it on the glue side, but not too much because you wipe the glue off. Last one. Stretch it a bit and then just, you don't need to press hard because the tape is designed to be removable at the end when you've finished your painting. Um, if you're worried about any of the tapes not being quite right, you can always put another one over the top. Um, it'll make your paper a little bit smaller but at least you'll be sure that it's properly stretched. There we go. And that's all you need to do, other than wait for the whole thing to dry. Um, you could use a hairdryer, I suppose, if you're in a hurry, but I would just leave it overnight, preferably flat, so you don't get any water running down and into the tape. If you wanted to put on a wash at this stage, you could do that. If, for instance, I wanted a slight wash of blue on there, now's a good time to do it because it just is going to fade into the, the general dampness of the paper. Don't know what this is going to be. But we'll have a look tomorrow and just see what that looks like. So this is the next day and um, I think you can see that that surface is um, nice and flat, ready for my painting and um, I can't wait to get started. painting then all you need to do is actually slip a knife under the corner of the painting and through the tape that you've taped round with um, and then just slice along um, to uh, retrieve the painting and get the board ready for the next one. So here goes. Just turn the board round. And we've got the third edge. Okay, so there we have a nice flat unbuckled painting, and your board is ready for your next masterpiece. And thanks for watching.